In the Atlantic Ocean, about a thousand miles west of Africa, is Null Island. It's a busy place. Thousands of people live there, millions of photos have been taken there, and occasionally people teleport in for just a moment or two before disappearing to somewhere else. Or at least that's what it looks like to a computer. Because if you actually set sail for Null Island, you'd find nothing but deep blue ocean and a lonely weather boy. Or buoy, if you're American. There is one special thing you might notice. It's at exactly zero degrees longitude and zero degrees latitude. And that's the key to why computers think this particular patch of ocean is a busy place. Any big database, whether it's storing information about people, or photos, or uh, cats, needs to know the difference between nothing, like zero, and nothing, as in there's no data, it's a mystery. That idea of no data is called null. So here we know that Sir Pounce has black fur, and Mr Sniffywinkles has brown fur, but we don't know about Schrodinger. Null doesn't mean no colour, or no fur at all, it literally means there is no data here, we don't know what colour her fur is. This isn't just a cat-related problem. If your phone doesn't know where you are, it might tag a photo you take with latitude null and longitude null, or it might tell an app that your location is null, null. No problem so far, but badly written apps can read that as coordinates 0, 0. They've mistaken nothing for nothing. So they'll think that you are on Null Island. Uh, at least until your phone works out where you really are. More seriously, in a 2012 US election, many voters in Wisconsin lived in places that the Census Bureau didn't have coordinates for. So a new automatic system said they lived on Null Island, which is definitely not in any Wisconsin election district. If the mistake hadn't been caught in time, they might have had problems voting. You can also get problems when you try to put the actual word null into a database, like you might try to do if you're one of the 300,000 plus people with null as your last name. It only takes a small programming error, mistaking null for null, and suddenly the computer thinks you don't exist, or at least you can't register an account with your favourite kitty litter cleanup service. All this is a reminder that our world is complicated, and it's not always as easy as you might think to map our messy reality into a computer system. So the next time you see a photo tagged way out in the Atlantic Ocean, you'll know what's happened. Unless it really is a photo of that one lonely weather boy. Buoy. Uh, whichever. Hey, this is Henry. First, I'd like to say thanks to Tom Scott of the amazing YouTube channel Tom Scott for helping write and narrate this video. And also thanks to Audible.com for supporting Minute Earth. Audible is a leading provider of audiobooks including fiction, nonfiction, and periodicals, and they're offering free 30-day trials for our viewers at audible.com slash minuteearth. I'd like to recommend the book Predictably Irrational by Dan Ariely, exploring various ways that humans reliably make irrational decisions, like how we're often willing to put way more effort to get something that's free than the free thing is actually worth. Predictably Irrational is available on Audible, and by using the free promo at audible.com slash minuteearth, you help support Minute Earth. And don't forget to check out Tom Scott's brilliant other videos on his channel, Tom Scott.